population estimates are approaching 8 billion by 2020, creating the need for the 300 bushel acre. To reach that mark, producers will depend on seed genetics and high population twin row seeding. It's a land of uncharted yields, and it's possible with twin row from Great Plains. With considerable talk taking place about boosting average yields to 300 bushels of corn and 100 bushels of soybeans per acre by 2030, there are still plenty of agronomic questions on how we can make this happen. An innovative Illinois farmer recently told me he'll have to average 450 bushels of corn and nearly 100 bushels per acre of soybeans in order to help the country's farmers meet these dramatic national yield averages. The U.S. Census Bureau anticipates that the world's population will rise to more than 9 billion by the year 2050. This means that we're going to have to produce much more grain to feed the world. While the world's population stands at nearly 7 billion today, some 60% of the Earth's inhabitants will live in China, India, and Southeast Asia just 40 years from now. At the same time as this tremendous surge in world population, the standard of living across the globe is also expected to continue its rise. The growing demand for improved diets and the increasing populations will require three times more food than the world presently produces. And because there are few acres of new land that can be used for farming, the emphasis is on boosting yields to feed the world. Projections for production and use of a dozen major crops throughout the world indicate that demand will grow by about 85% from current levels. In order to meet the growing global demand for food without adding farmland, crop yields must increase nearly 25% faster than current trend levels. Besides meeting America's corn and soybean yield challenges, many other problems need solving, including transport of grain from the farm to its needed destination. While the need for more efficient transportation is the primary focus of our eight-part Shipping Out series, we must set the stage by discussing how we'll meet and exceed the grain yield challenge over the next two decades. The continued use of stacked corn hybrids will likely double or even triple the yearly yield increase for corn. Rather than the two bushel per acre annual increase that has been achieved over each of the past 55 years, we can expect to see annual yield increases of four to six bushels per acre per year over the next two decades. Plus, the coming development of drought-tolerant hybrids should add an eight to 10% yield boost with corn. Much of the increased corn yield in this decade has been due to genetic improvement in weed, disease, and insect control, along with the development of more aggressive root systems that can efficiently seek out available water and nutrients. By moving to higher plant populations, growers are already learning how to take full advantage of the improved genetic potential. Over the past 50 years, soybean productivity has improved by only a half a bushel per acre per year. Yet new developments in biotechnology and new soybean varieties should boost yields by up to 12% over the next few years. Harold Reitz, a recently retired agronomist with the Potash and Phosphate Institute, says the key to boosting yields is to fine-tune management systems while focusing more on the unique requirements of each crop. This means finding new ways to eliminate numerous yield-limiting factors. Look for an increased emphasis on making nutrients available in the right forms, right amounts, and right places throughout the growing season. Reducing stress from diseases, insects, and weeds will become much more critical. The amount and timing of water availability, along with proper drainage, will also play a key role. And look for increased emphasis on site-specific precision farming technology to overcome field variabilities and more efficient machinery management. When it comes to producing 300 bushel corn yields, 
University of Illinois crop physiologist Fred Bilo maintains several critical items have the greatest impact. These include weather, nitrogen, hybrid selection, crop rotations, plant populations, tillage, and chemical usage. Two of the key management changes in striving to meet the 300 bushel corn challenge will be a shift toward narrower rows and twin rows. These changes offer corn plants more room to grow to capture nutrients and water while making better use of available sunlight. Monsanto agronomists maintain that growers tend to run out of growing space in 30-inch rows once they expand plant populations beyond 39,000 plants per acre. Just moving the seed in a row four inches in either direction and planting in twin rows doubles the spacing between plants, resulting in more unrestricted root growth and better utilization of sunlight, moisture, and nutrients. As an example, dairyman Greg Selbrate of Leon, Wisconsin made the switch to twin rows spaced eight inches apart on 30-inch centers nearly a decade ago. This has let him push up plant populations to overcome yield concerns and standability issues due to thicker stands when raising corn silage and grain for his dairy herd. The result has been a tremendous boost in corn silage tonnage and feed quality along with grain yields ranging as high as 257 bushels per acre thanks to the twin rows that have boosted yields by 8 to 12 percent. He credits twin rows with letting him push up the ceiling on plant populations, and he's convinced that the key to higher yields is producing more plants per acre rather than producing bigger ears. Tom Evans, vice president for Great Plains, says twin rows will be an exciting change in agriculture. He says twin rows farming doesn't require a lot of equipment changes, which is one of its big pluses. Basically, you change your planter and everything else stays exactly the way it was with a 30-inch corn head on your combine. While boosting grain yields over the next 20 years is critical to feeding the world and increasing our supplies of homegrown ethanol to reduce our need for foreign oil, improved transportation of grain on our rivers, roads, and railroad tracks and across the oceans to other countries is going to become even more critical. In the next segment of Shipping Out, we'll hop aboard the towboat Show Me State in Minnesota. We'll give you a first-hand look at what it's like to push 15 barges of grain worth $5.4 million down the mighty Mississippi. Population estimates are approaching 8 billion by 2020, creating the need for the 300 bushel acre. To reach that mark, producers will depend on seed genetics and high population twin row seeding. It's a land of uncharted yields, and it's possible with twin row from Great Plains. <laughs> 